Hello students, hope all is well from your side and you have solved exercise 4.2. In question number 4, you might have faced little bit of problem in that but I know as you are the students of class 9, so you have solved that one exercise 4.2 question number 4 also and those who are having problem, please you contact. And today we will learn how to plot a graph. So today we will learn about how to plot the graph of a linear equation in two variables. As we know that we have studied about how to find the solutions of a linear equation in two variables algebraically. Okay. Now we will learn about their geometric representation. If you can find a solution algebraically, then also we can find the solution by geometric representation the, and about geometric representation you have learned in chapter 3 that is in your coordinate geometry chapter. So today we will learn a linear equation in two variables has infinitely many solution okay that we know also and that solution we will plot graphically is that okay. Now see here we can show them in the what coordinate plane also because directly we can find the value that we have learned in our previous class and in this class we will saw them in a coordinate plane is that okay now see here just we take one example here we have taken the example of x plus 2y is equals to 6 i told you in my previous class then how we can rearrange this this can also be written as how 2y is equals to 6 minus x or y is equals to 6 minus x by 2 or in other way you can write how x is equals to 6 minus 2y and you substitute the value you will get the answer. I told you to make a rough in math see rough part is very essential for the correct answer. Now see so here we have taken y is equals to 6 minus x by 2 so if we have substituted x is equals to 0 so if you are confident directly if it is 0 then 2 3 is 6 so the value of y is how much 3 if you are not confident do it in rough as i have done here and showing you x 0 then 2 3 is 6 similarly if we put 2 so 6 minus 2 4 4 by 2 will be how much 2 here we have substituted other we have substituted 4 so what 4 means what? 6 minus 4, 2 by 2 is equals to 1. So, this value we got after substituting. And you use your previous knowledge as you have used in coordinate geometry. After knowing the value, directly we can what? Plot it in graph. So, now you can see the graph here. Here we have taken a graph. We know that x coordinate is there, x part is there, y part is there, horizontal is x axis, vertical is what? y axis. So let us take our first point. When we have chosen 0, then our y part is what? 3. So here you are seeing the graph 0 and 3. Is that okay? 0 and 3. Second we have chosen what? 2 and 2. x is 2, y is 2. So here x is 2 and y is 2 and another one is what x is 4 and y is 1 and after drawing we get a what a straight line is that okay what we got we got a straight line and that we have given the name as ab is that okay that straight line we have given the name as what ab now see here what we get we get a straight line some points we have to remember Every point whose coordinate satisfy equation lies on the line AB in this part and in other part that whatever will be the equation that will satisfy the uh, equation in a line. Is that okay? So for this question we can say that every point whose coordinate satisfy equation lies on the line AB. Here we are seeing that 0, 3, 2, 2 and 4, 1 lies in a what? A straight line. Is that okay? Now see the other important point. This you have to remember. Every point on the line AB gives a solution x is equals to a, y is equals to b of the given equation and whatever the point you get on a straight line 
for x and y that will be the solution of the given equation in this um, um, topic our equation is x plus 2y is equals to 6 so see 0 3 2 2 4 1 and other value if you will take that all will be the solution now see any point which do not lie on the line a b is not a solution of the equation suppose you have substituted 0 you got 3 2 other point if that is not come in that line will not be the equation of the solution of the equation is that okay suppose just you choose any other value suppose 8 and minus 1 8 and minus 1 will not come in that line so what we can say that 8 and minus 1 is not the solution of the given equation so see we can conclude that every point on the line satisfy the equation of the line this part is very important now see by seeing the graph also you can say that this value is the solution of the given equation so see <coughs> We conclude that what every point on the line satisfies the equation of the line and every solution of the equation is a point on the line and see whatever the solution you get that will be what or uh, that will be the point on the equation of the line so just remember this we can say that every point on the line satisfy the equation of the line and every solution of the equation is a point on the line is that clear and now see here so we can say that a linear equation in two variables is represented geometrically by a line whose points make up the collection of solution of the equation see whatever the line we will get that will be the solution of the given equation so just see it very carefully we can say that a linear equation in two variables is represented geometrically by a line whose points make up the collection of solution jo bhi uska point humko graph pe milega wo kya hoga hamara us expression ka solution and this is called the graph of a linear equation or usko hum log kya bolenge graph of linear equation ठीक है इस चीज को ध्यान में रखना है that is a graph of the linear equation see students you can choose two or three points but for your sure answer that will make you more confident you can choose more than three or four coordinates to plot the graph here you see one more question may come why a polynomial of equation ax plus by plus c is called a linear equation why we call it a degree one polynomial equation ax plus by plus c is called a linear equation as its geometrical representation is a what a straight line that's why it is called a linear equation is that okay of degree one linear means what of this one now see here you have to learn about how to find the equation by a given point this is a homework for you suppose you have given the point 1 comma 2 x is 1 and y is 2 you have to find the equation of a line on which it lies okay and how many such equations you can find this is your homework for you please do it next in the next class we will solve some examples how to draw the graph of some equations this much for this class have a good day